Hello, hello. So today, obviously, I have some strawberry coasters. And I am going to put some resin on them and get them ready. Um, I've already done six, I think six sets of coasters today. And the whole reason I started doing some resin today was for these. And then I looked up after I was done and of course they're still sitting on my desk. So here we go. Um, these are uh, custom colors, the backgrounds, um, a brown, a tan, and a white, and uh, marbleized. <clears throat> and I did not think this through. Hold on a second. Um, it is marbleized, and it will be um, going to a very fantastic couple in Independence, Kansas. And uh, if I have any extra um, resin, I'm going to do a couple of rocks. Um, just rather than waste the resin, I, I'll put some on on some rocks um, to hide or so I mean you know if you want a rock you want it want me to paint you one I will be happy to I've got all sorts of different rocks different sizes different colors let me know what you want on it and uh, we will go from there for sure so I'm just putting on, a, this is a two-part resin. Um, this is not my favorite resin, so I'm not going to endorse it, but it's basically the same as the ones that I like, the one that I like, uh, actually the ones I like. And seeing as how this is the last of my resin, <laughs> I'm okay with not buying any more of this brand. Uh, it is a two-part resin, uh, part A, part B, it makes it one-to-one, <clears throat> -one. and, um, and, uh, let it dry. I use, you'll see me using the torch, um, it's to pop the air bubbles, and I think that when I do this, these videos from here, that you can actually see the air bubbles popping. From the camera view from the camera angle i hope it's one of the coolest parts about <laughs> about doing these um, um especially you can see right now um that there's a lot of bubbles in the resin i think you can see all that and um so um, anyway, mixed one part resin, the re the resin and one part the hardener, and uh, mixed it up for about four minutes, just constant stirring. And um, now putting it on the coasters, and I want to make sure that I'm getting it all over. It's self leveling, so. Um, if I put, you know, a blob here, it's not going to affect the coaster in the end um, because it is it is self-leveling. So um, I will be, I'll look at this with a light. You'll see uh, here in a minute, I'm going to torch it and pop the air bubbles and I will get out the flashlight and go over it. What I'm trying to do is make sure that there's, I'm not seeing any um, hair, uh, dust particles, fa fabric particles, pieces of gunk. Um, 
it should look like glass. It should be even and smooth. And uh, if it's not, then I will use a toothpick or usually a toothpick because I have them readily available right above me, right up here by the camera. Um, some things take, you know, tweezers or whatever. Sometimes you just stick your finger in there and <laughs> get it out. Alright, everything has been covered. There's a big air bubble right there. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this one over here um, has a lot of air bubbles sitting right there on top. Not so much over here. Um, the longer it sits, that's what it's going to do is all the air bubbles are going to come up to the top. And the torch will help pop those. Um, if you have used silicone in any of your paints, your paint, your uh, resin probably will not stick to it. So, you'll have to resin more than once. I never do a set of coasters without at least two coats of resin. Um, it definitely helps protect and yes you definitely want to move fast I'm not over here trying to cook the resin or anything like that you don't want to cut your wax paper all on fire or whatever you have underneath I have wax paper sometimes I have a trash bag underneath um, so now I'm just going to go through and look at, use. I'm going to reuse the reflection of the light. The light is shining directly into my good eye. Yeah, who knew that I would still be complaining about my eyes months later. Had cataract surgery, got a new lens, everything's supposed to be perfect, and here it is months later, six months later actually, and I still can't see out of that eye. So, it's not very fun. Um, anyway, this isn't a session to complain about my eyeballs. Definitely have something in here that is not letting my bubble pop. So I'm guessing that there is a hair of some kind down in there. In the in the resin. Or under the resin, I guess I should say. And It's not letting it lie down flat. If you have bumps and stuff in it now, you will have bumps in it when it's dry. So you want to get out everything that you possibly can now. Um, I will be uh, putting this, I put this this plastic piece underneath the wax paper is uh, the lid of a tote. And so I am, I have the other tote right here next to it. I'm going to put it over the top of it and let it cure with that so that no more stuff falls in. There is a hair. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes. Obviously, that is not one of my hairs. My hair goes down to my behind. So, I'm just now got some goobs and yucks. 
I just want to make sure I get all that out now. That is something that is sitting in the bottom. Guys, this is definitely not my favorite resin. But I will give a shout out to uh, Stone Coat Countertop Resin. So far, my favorite. We'll see, I still have some, some others to test out. Um, I didn't mind the Chaos Resin. That was pretty good. I only used it once, I only got a small bottle. So that might be my next, uh, my next option. All right, let's see here. So this could take a minute or it could take a while. You got about 45 minutes when you work with the resin, depending on which resin. Obviously there are some quick ones that have like a 15 minute life that you can work with them. Um, I don't want that because I spend too much time being a chatty Kathy, sometimes with myself. <laughs> This, I'm not liking this corner at all. There is definitely something here and it will not come out. So I'm going to pull it all off and I will just put on new resin right here and see if it will behave. It already looks better. Done. All right. Actually, guys, I'm almost, I think I'm done with this stuff. Um, I do have a little bit of resin right here, so I'm going to go grab a couple of rocks. Because there's no sense in wasting the resin. I still don't think I have enough. I still think I'm going to end up with extra, extra resin, but. So, resin on the rocks, resin on the rocks. <laughs> that is not a drink. resin, just use your glove, rub it around. I had some extra paint left over from a pour that I did, a commission pour, and so I used the leftover paint that was in my cup and did these ribbons which I think are pretty cool. Now I hide my rocks. I paint my rocks and hide them and stuff like that. And on the back of it, I will write my name and the date and um, where you can where you can um, tag my rocks if you find them. Um, Lowell Arc rocks and uh, you can also get put it on on follow rock. I put my I put mine on Lowell Arc rocks on Facebook. I also tag them. On follow rock with a unique with a unique number. Each rock that I do has a unique number, so you can get on followrock.com and log it in there. 
don't know that I have enough room for this last rock, but I do have room in my other. I'm gonna go put that a little bit bigger. Like I said, I just did six sets of coasters and some rocks earlier, so I'll just put this in with that other set of rocks. Just put a light coat on the bottom. I'm not trying to make it stick to anything, except, whew. This is, uh, these half circle rocks are ones that I made using silicone molds. Um, did a, uh, use them, the ones that you would use for Um, like suckers, like um, 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 you would put them together. What do you call them? Uh, the bombs, the, like the chocolate bombs, uh, hot chocolate bombs, or I guess you could probably do bath bombs with them too. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, taking off the glove. definitely don't want to get resin on anything other than what you're supposed to be doing. Just so you know, I have it in my hair from earlier today. Why? Because I'm brilliant. Doing this left-handed, ooh, this should be fun. See, Jackie, how ding-dong can you get with resin? I don't have anything else that I can that I can resin that's ready to go right now. Um, gosh, I just hate to waste all this. <laughs> this is enough resin to do a whole other coaster. Um, let me look see if I've got anything else that I can do real quick. Uh, I could do a tiny canvas. Put on new glove. Glove, new glove. Let's go. People don't want to sit here and wait for you to put on your new glove. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I have this dragon eye that is my my daughter wanted me to do. So I'll put some resin on that one real quick. Oh, there you go. So I've signed it with my name and date, paid Facebook, Lowell Arc Rocks, followrock.com with, with an actual number. That This number is unique to this rock. And, uh, Log and track my travels. So if somebody, if I were, if this was a rock that wasn't going specifically to my daughter, <clears throat> if I was going to hide this rock, uh, somebody could find it and type in that number and say where they found it, and say whether they're going to hide it or whether they're, they're going to keep it or whatever. Okay, I still have a lot of resin. So, um, I have these little four inch canvases that I've painted. Um, and so I'll just throw some resin right over the top of that. Um, I think I will move this though. And, whew, wasn't prepared for this. Um, Let me scoot stuff here real quick. I might get a couple of canvases out of this resin. I 
have a whole bunch of resin on this hand, so everything that I'm doing is kind of one-handed. Um, and I have a hair in there. So, that's not going to work. Let me... <laughs> moving stuff, and I don't have this these coasters over here covered up yet, so I'm getting hairs. Is how this is what I would really like to have done. I'd rather, I would rather lose the resin and save the coasters than have to redo the coasters. Obviously this is still coat one, but I don't really want to have to correct flaws. I'd rather resin once, have it be perfect, and resin twice, and have it be perfect. Um, if there's a, if there is a hair that gets dried in the resin, um, just depending on the piece with with these coasters, I would just resin the whole thing again. Um, but like, if you have a dark hair over a light background, you could file it out, you know, sand it out, um, I, I won't, I don't have anything like that in these, so. Okay, now before I do anything else, I'm going to cover these up. I do not want hairs to fall in there. Um, oh no, disaster. You can't see what just happened. <laughs> this is disaster. That's there. That is not a bubble. That's why that's there. <laughs> All right. I thought that was a bubble in the resin. It's not. It's part of the rock. Well, if I just sit here and keep playing with uh, with this stuff, I won't have any resin left over for the. the canvas. <laughs> so every time I move the cam move the resin with my stirrer or toothpick or whatever, I hit it with the heat, pop any new bubbles that I have created. This is a tight fit, you guys, so I'm going slowly and I'm being careful about what I'm doing. Um, there. It was attached to that. Now it's not. So, okay, I'm going to leave that right there, just like that. Um, and I will get shall I get? 
here I will get a canvas I'll put that on uh, let me put it upside down it's got this plastic on top so it's not going to hurt it if it gets on there on the plastic it will be fine and I'm almost I'm sure I'm almost at the end of my resin life it's starting to get real tacky um, it's not just sliding off anymore it kind of gums up which means that this video probably is about 40 minutes long or something <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, look, it's only 25. Nice. Woohoo. All right, I am going to let the rest of this go. I can do that. I'm okay with that. use my cake decorator with the serrated edge but seeing as how I didn't have to use it on anything else I don't really want to dry it clean it and dry it well I mean you, you always just set it and it would dry and then I would peel it off of the cake decorator. The um, resin really does not stick to the plastic, to that hard plastic stuff. Um, just kind of slides right off, which is nice. And yes, I do know that I am putting my fingers all on the sides right when I, right where I resined it. I know. But I'm also going to hit it with a torch and pop any bubbles. I had a request for a mandala, and that, so I did this one. I did another one, and that's the one that went away, that that the lady bought. But I had my paints out. And said, why not? My torch is covered in resin right now because I was just playing with it. Now I'm going to torch this and I'm going to try not to burn this plastic. I'm going to go extra super fast. this anyway because I can see that it's over here with no resin on it so just using my cake decorator make sure that I'm getting all the all the way to the edges as it sits the center of the canvas is going to be heavier it's going to sink in um, it's kind of like a pizza, you know, you put the cheese on and the cheese all goes to the center of the pizza. So come you don't have any cheese at the crust area. <laughs> the same thing. So the heaviest spot is going to be right there. Even though this has almost no resin on it. It's just a tiny, tiny thin layer. It will um, dip the weight of the canvas will dip and all of the resin will pool right there in the middle. Okay, there's a one layer of resin. I'm sure that I will have to do another layer now with, I can see spots and I just don't have enough resin on there to 
completely cover it to completely cover it right. I would need just a little more and I don't have it. Yeah. Couldn't even pull enough off the popsicle stick. So, all right. Looks all right. One coat, one coat, one coat. We'll do two coats. See how it looks. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions please feel free let me know email me comment um, if you like watching what I do you can like follow share tell your friends if you like what you see everything is available for sale obviously not these coasters because they were a custom piece but I will be more than happy to make one for you make a set for you <clears throat> and uh, if there's anything that you want to see that you want to watch me make canvas or um, on tiles or jewelry rocks if you guys want to watch me do some rocks that I hide uh, I'd be more than happy to do that I do have stuff like this. This is a trivet. This is a 10 and a half inch octagon trivet. Not an octagon, hexagon. <laughs> Put a cork on the back so these protect your surfaces. And it is good up to 170 degrees so you can pull something out of your oven, put it in a container, you know, put it in a serving dish and then set it on top and it will be good to go. This is like glass, it's super soft and smooth. If you'd like something like that, let me know. Anyway, all right, well, thanks for watching everybody. Good to see you, have a great night.